The PDP, also known as the MiG-41, is Russia's ambitious project aimed at developing a sixth-generation interceptor aircraft expected to make its maiden flight in 2025. This aircraft is set to replace the MiG-31 and incorporate cutting-edge features such as advanced stealth capabilities, variable cycle engines, and extended range. Despite high expectations, there is skepticism about Russia's ability to produce such an advanced fighter given the challenges they faced with fifth-generation technology. The MiG-41 is expected to achieve speeds over Mach 4, operate at near-space altitudes, and potentially include an unmanned version. It is also expected to be equipped with the new Saturn Alabama 51 engine, which promises significant improvements over its predecessors. As global military powers race to develop sixth-generation fighters, Russia's progress with the MiG-41 will be closely watched. The latest fighter project from the Russian aerospace firm Mikoyan, alternately known as the PDP, or MiG-41, stands for Perspectivny Aviacini Complex Dal Nego Perikvata, which translates to Perspective Air Complex for Long Range Interception. As the name implies, the MiG-41 will be both an interceptor and a fighter aircraft. The stealthy PDP is expected to make its first flight in 2025, although the West knows little about the MiG-41. This new jet will replace the MiG-31 and is considered a sixth-generation project. However, Russia has struggled to mass-produce a fifth-generation jet, leaving some observers skeptical that Russia can pull off a sixth-generation aircraft. Most seem to think this plane will never make it into production let alone undergo any sort of test flight. We can infer what Russia expects from the PDP or MiG-41 based on the general parameters that define a sixth-generation design advanced stealth airframes, avionics, advanced variable cycle engines with high thrust and cruise control, increased range, standoff and beyond visual range weapons, and enhanced human systems integration. There should be an option for remote or autonomous control. In short, sixth-generation platforms are expected to feature an ambitious slew of features that the Russians will be hard-pressed to obtain today. No one has yet created a sixth-generation platform. Only three nations Russia, China, and the U.S.-Dash have even fielded a fifth-generation platform. So Russia's plan to first fly the MiG-41 in 2025 might be overly optimistic. If one had to speculate, Looking across many Russian dreams of military hardware, there is a strong chance this plane never leaves the drawing board. The design specifications for the MiG-41 were finalized in 2019. MiG's general director Ilya Tarasenko said the new jet would reach speeds in excess of Mach 4, with cruising speeds around Mach 3. It will be equipped with an anti-missile laser and be able to fly at near-space altitudes. Tarasenko also said the new jet would feature an unmanned version. The aircraft, as described, would make for a formidable interceptor. The MiG-41 is expected to use an upcoming version of the Saturn Alabama 51 engine currently in development for the improved variant of the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter. The Saturn Alabama 51 is an afterburning low-bypass turbofan engine that first ran in 2016. The engine's architecture features two shafts and a three-stage fan driven by a low-pressure turbine, as well as a five-stage high-pressure compressor driven by a single-stage high-pressure turbine. The Saturn Alabama 51 also features glass fiber plastic inlet guide vanes and convergent divergent nozzles that use serrated flaps to reduce its radar signature. The new engine will offer a 19% higher thrust-to-weight ratio over its predecessor, with estimated thrust reaching 37,500 pounds with afterburners engaged. In addition to the Su-57 and the PDP, the Saturn Alabama 51 is expected to be used in the upcoming Su-75 Checkmate light tactical fighter. The Russians are undoubtedly racing the Americans to field this sixth-generation fighter. The Americans, who were first to field a fifth-generation fighter, are the favorites to win the sixth-generation race, with companies like Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman competing for the upcoming next-generation air dominance contract. Anticipation builds as the MiG-41, a groundbreaking aircraft possessing true space capabilities, is set to make its maiden flight this year. The Russian media outlet Overcloser recently reported that this superior machine is on the brink of being commissioned and is expected to join the ranks of the Russian Air Force within the next two to three years. According to insights from Russian journalists, the MiG-41 stands unparalleled in its class. Overcloser suggests that the time is right for the MiG-41 to step into the limelight and replace the venerable yet still potent MiG-31. The MiG-41 is poised to take over from the MiG-31, which, despite its age, has an impressive track record. The MiG-31 can target objects even in near space, 
intercept ballistic and cruise missiles, and the MiG-31K variant houses the first hypersonic air-launched missile. Despite the exceptional performance of the MiG-31, the need for a new long-range interceptor was recognized long ago. The first attempt at extensive modernization was the MiG-31M, which surfaced in 1993, but it never made it into production due to financial difficulties and pressure from American partners who were hesitant about Russia gaining more strength. The current MiG-31s are undergoing an upgrade to the MiG-31BM, featuring new radar and electronic enhancements, new missiles, and weapons control systems. However, the Foxhounds will face mass decommissioning due to the exhaustion of their production resources in the coming decade. This circumstance led to the inception of the PDP program, which has been developed under the most stringent secrecy. In 2019, the research phase was completed, and by 2021, a prototype was developed. Initially slated to fly in 2025 and enter mass production in 2028, the designers are surprisingly two years ahead of schedule, an indication of their relentless commitment. The emergence of the MiG-41 in its generation, while the technical specifications of this new development remain undisclosed, it is speculated that the MiG-41 will be capable of matching the speed of supersonic high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. This distinctive feature is also being incorporated into the American and Chinese counterparts of this aircraft type. Russian reports suggest that the MiG-41 will operate in near-space conditions, achieving speeds exceeding Mach 3. The aircraft is said to be capable of launching satellites into low orbits, intercepting hypersonic missiles, and performing various other feats. These bold assertions have led the U.S. to dub the MiG-41 a fantasy. While it is premature to definitively categorize the MiG-41 as either a figment of imagination or a bluff, there seems to be significant progress within the Russian PDP project. The aircraft's developers assert that the MiG-41 will achieve speeds ranging from Mach 4 to 4.5, nearing hypersonic speeds. The notion of launching satellites is not particularly groundbreaking, however. The designers have begun to openly discuss the aircraft's capability to house anti-satellite missiles. The MiG-41 is classified as belonging to the 5 and potentially even the 6th generation of aircraft. Its avionics are not solely designed for manned flights, given the lack of necessity for a human to endure overloads of up to 9G. Provision has been made for unmanned operation.